Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss what is legal remedy in tort. As the Latin maxim says, Uvi jus ivi remedium, which means there is no wrong without remedy. Likewise, the legal damage arises because of the wrongful act or wrongful omission. There is remedy for this. However, the principal remedy for tort is damages that the court of law awards monetary compensation. So in this video, I will be discussing the concept and types of legal remedy. Let's start with the definition. As defined by Black's Law Dictionary, the means by which a right is enforced or the violation of a right is prevented, redressed, or compensated. Now, the next question is, what are the types of legal remedy? The court of law usually offers legal remedy in the form of damages, injunctions, and a specific restitutions. Let's discuss each of them in brief. Start with the damages first. Damages are the pecuniary compensation which are awarded to the defendant against his tortuous act. It means the defendant has to give certain amount to plaintiff. Now the next question is how are damages measured or decided? As such, there is no fixed scale or rule to measure or determine the type of damages, as well as the amount of damages. It is discretionary power of the court. However, while determining the damages, the court considers the cause, facts, circumstances of a case, nature of damage, etc. Now, the next question is, what are the types of damages? Normally, damages are classified as contemptuous damages. This is also known as derisory damages. As the court of law expresses its disapproval of such conduct and award very small amount as compensation. Next, that is nominal damages. Such damages are awarded to establish a legal right and not the substantial loss. In such a case, actually there is no substantial loss, but the cause of action is actionable per se. As for example, trespassing into someone's property. This is actionable tort. Next, ordinary damages. It is also known as compensatory damages as a word to the extent of loss that suffered by the plaintiff. Last but not the least, exemplary damages. It is also known as vindictive or punitive damages because the magnitude of the wrongful act that is committed by the defendant is much higher than the normal tort. The compensatory amount is proportionately high. The purpose of such exemplary damages is not only to compensate the plaintiff adequately but also to create a deterrent for future offenders. Now, let's discuss the second type of legal remedy that is injunctions. An injunction is a court's order given to the defendant in order to restrain his commission, reputation, or continuation of a wrongful act. Now, come to the last type of legal remedy, that is, a specific restitution. It is also known as a specific performance, as the court compels defendant to do an act under legal obligation. Normally, in property cases, such legal remedy is awarded. Watch my next videos to know more about tort law.